Today, we will be exploring perhaps the most tragic Hogwarts founder of the four. Even though she was insanely intelligent, possessed of vast wisdom, and is remembered till today as one of the greatest wizards, she couldn't escape from a heartbreaking life. Born in the valleys of Scotland sometime before the year 993, Rowena was the most intelligent witch ever known to history, unmatched in many skills. She was also known for her beauty and raven black hair, said to be so beautiful that she was seen as intimidating. It is unknown how, but in the early years of her life, she was able to create her own wand, a rare deed in the wizarding world as wand making was and still is an incredibly complicated subject with secrets passed throughout the centuries between wand makers like the world famous Ollivanders. This led the wizarding community to believe that she was a very powerful witch, crafting wands for other wizards and witches like her fellow founders. Rowena was either born into the Ravenclaw family or was married into it. The second option is more likely due to the fact that her daughter also had the same surname, and often the surname given to children was from their fathers. However, other scenarios are also possible for the reason that nothing was officially confirmed by the author. Either way, her famous last name would later become a symbol of greatness. Her oldest and closest friend, Helga Hufflepuff, companion of many adventures, probably joined her in the fight during the dark times, where witches and wizards were persecuted everywhere. It is believed that around this time, they met Salazar Slytherin and Godric Gryffindor. They bonded over these troubled times and decided to create a safe place for all the children with magical abilities. Rowena was very involved in the castle's creation, the most involved actually, and was thanks to her that the place was found. Legend says that Rowena had a dream where a hog showed her through a dark forest leading her to find the perfect place for the castle. According to J.K. Rowling, the name was born when she saw a plant named Hogwarts at Kew Gardens circa 1992, and the name stuck, creating the word Hogwarts. The school was founded and the hog became a symbol of the castle by having two statues of the animal with wings disposed at the front gates, guarding the entrance. The castle, of course, had to be muggle-proof and with Rowena's wisdom, the founders created many charms and repellents for outsiders. If muggles came close, they would only see ruins, danger signs, and later on, any technological devices would have a hard time working due to all of the magical waves, causing them to malfunction. Along with being Hogwarts architect, Rowena planned and mapped the castle's divisions, showcasing her creativity and intellect. The famous moving stairs were also one of her creations, with the goal to keep the students' brains working. A challenge to say the least, right? You can see him represented in a golden statue at Hogwarts entrance hall, holding the castle's blueprints in one hand and a small model of the castle in the other. Ultimately, Rowena's most precious creation was in fact her demise, her daughter Helena. After her graduation from Hogwarts, Helena, jealous of her mother's famous intellect and beauty, stole her diadem and took it with her to Albania, far away from her reach, in hopes of surpassing her mother's immensely rare capabilities. Ashamed and distraught of her daughter's betrayal, Rowena kept her treachery a secret from others and even denied it. Sometime after, the founder fell ill with her heart broken and asked the wizard Baron from Slytherin House, who was madly in love with her daughter Helena, to find her daughter. He eventually tracked her in a forest in Albania, but when she refused to return with him, the Baron flew into a fit of rage and stabbed her in a moment of madness, taking her life almost instantly. Right after that, and overcome with guilt, he took his own life. The two would later become, respectively, Ravenclaw and Slytherin house ghosts at Hogwarts. Regret and sorrow haunted Rowena for the rest of her days, leading her to a certain death. Like the other founders, Rowena used her surname to title her house. The word Ravenclaw can be divided into two words, Raven and Claw, even though the animal mascot of the house is, in fact, an eagle. It is thought that the word raven might not be referring to the animal, but to the color, perhaps, of Rowena's hair. Members of this house should possess traits like intelligence, wit, wisdom, creativity, originality, individuality, and sharpness. The Ravenclaw natural element 
is air, and for that reason, the house colors were chosen to be blue and bronze to represent the sky and eagle feathers, respectively. Ravenclaws tend to be curious about the world and pay attention to everything around them. They are known to be logical and rational, and luckily, students tend to have very good abilities regarding their memory. Garrick Ollivander, for example, possessed photographic memory, making him able to remember every wand he has ever sold. Gilderoy Lockhart also had an exceptional talent with the memory charm, even though Ravenclaw members don't see him with good eyes since the events of the Chamber of Secrets. According to Slytherin's prefect, Gemma Farley, Ravenclaws are so competitive when it comes to academic success that they are known to backstab each other and likely other students in order to get top marks. The Ravenclaw common room is located in one of the castle's towers, just like Gryffindor's house, and to get there, you have to climb a tight spiral staircase. The dome ceiling is painted with stars, which are reflected onto the midnight blue carpet. A white marble statue of Rowena Ravenclaw sits next to the door that leads to the dorms above. Of course, the common room had to be special by testing students in the most creative way possible. At the entrance, a riddle was given by a bronze eagle-shaped knocker and had to be answered correctly for them to be able to enter. This could prove troublesome as anyone with enough intellect could intrude into the dorm. In 1998, Professor McGonagall had no trouble entering by answering the riddle. On the other hand, a poorly phrased riddle might confuse a particular student, blocking them from entering and forcing them to sleep outside. But the greatest privilege of the house is to possess a private library just for their students. Rowena's biggest creation was her diadem. It is unknown how she actually did it, but no other wizard was capable, till today, of achieving the same feat, due to the item being able to enhance the wisdom of its wearer. This object was Ravenclaw's house most treasured attribute, showing that their skills were truly unmatched. Later in her life, and as said before, the relic was stolen and then lost by her own daughter, Helena, a secret Rowena kept from the other founders until her death. Centuries passed and Tom Riddle, in the pursuing of vessels to store his soul, managed to manipulate Helena's ghost, now known as the Grey Lady, and locate the diadem. Upon learning of its location, Riddle traveled to the Albanian forest shortly after he concluded his studies at the school and acquired it. He transformed it into his fifth horcrux by killing a peasant and later chose to return it to the very place it had originated from, Hogwarts as Riddle was trying to get a position as Professor of Defense Against the Dark Arts. Instead of protecting the artifact with heavy magical charms like he did with the previous Horcruxes, he hid it inside the Room of Requirement, only for it to be discovered and destroyed by Harry. Potter found it when he was trying to hide the Half-Blood Prince's copy of Advanced Potion Making. As we approach the story of the remaining founder, we'll be able to understand the trials and tribulations between the four and why it led to a terrible fight, ultimately ending their relationship. So stay tuned by subscribing, ringing the bell, and liking the video. It means a lot. And be sure to check the stories of the other founders.